Hugh Green grew up in the rich pasture lands of East Donegal, townlands of Maharahan, Cunaderry, Figured, of meandering byroads and hedgerows, and the many fields of cattle. This was a landscape that would frame the life path of the young Donegal boy. Born in the historic cathedral town of Rafo, with its market centre the Diamond, where cattle dealers once congregated on a fair day. Generations of the Green family grew up in Rafo. They ran the central hotel in the Diamond, where Hugh was born in 1931. His mother, Anne Gallagher, also came from a family of hoteliers in Letterkenny. His father, Hugh, was a cattle dealer. The Green children attended St Eunan's National School in Rafo, where they would make many friends for the rest of their lives. The 1940s were tough times in Donegal. The family moved to Letterkenny, and like many children of his generation, Hugh left school when he was just 12. He would spend the next five years driving cattle the length and the breadth of Donegal, from dawn until dusk, just to earn a living. At 17, Hugh was forced to emigrate. He took the assisted passage to Australia, passing through the Suez Canal. Along the way, he would meet another Donegal man, Barney McCahill from Frosses. Both men were no strangers to hard work. They moved to New Zealand and Green and McCahill soon grew into one of the country's most successful construction companies, giving work to hundreds of Irish emigrants. Around the same time, Hugh met the love of his life, Myra Buckley, a New Zealander of Irish extraction. They married in 1955. Hugh and Myra raised five children, John, Mary Ann, Francis, Eamon and Jared. Today, the green children and grandchildren frequently gather at Mount Albert, where they grew up. Hugh Green may have swapped the green fields of Donegal for the urban sprawl of Auckland, but his homeland is never too far away. Lands developed by the Hugh Green Group bring those Donegal place names to the other side of the world. Now in his 80th year, Hugh Green still plays an active role in the company and in the Hugh Green Charity Foundation. Yet the casual family atmosphere of this company belies the fact that this is one of New Zealand's financial powerhouses, owning vast tracts of development land and farms across the country, as well as donating millions to needy causes every year throughout the world. Hugh Green has received an honorary doctorate from NUI Galway for his philanthropic work and recently his memoir was published. But in February 2012, the Green family and close friends gathered at Mount Albert to celebrate Hugh's most cherished accolade, Donegal Person of the Year. I long to see your smiling children standing by. So I'm very proud, Hugh, and honoured 
to be asked to present the Donegal Person of the Year yeah. to you here yeah. in Auckland. Yeah. And you. there you go. This is an immigrant who has indeed never really left Donegal. For travellers want to know Donegal